Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope you're enjoying the new mini catalog. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, um, you may want to do so. I have my uh, September Hostess code here. It's also linked below and my shop is also linked below where you can shop 24-7. If you haven't checked out the new um, mini catalog, um, you can go to my website and check that out. And don't forget to check the online exclusives because there are some new designer series paper um, that has been released as well. So anyway, um, today I have a couple cards to show you that I made for a couple men that I needed cards for. One is actually using retired products, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because I think it turns out really cute. So this is the first card I made, and this is retired all but this just for you. Everything is retired except for, of course, the cardstock. Um, my former pastor used to love fishing, and he's 90 years old now, and I wanted to send him a card. I just visited him last week, and uh, I thought I would send him a card. And since he loved fishing, I thought this would be really nice. And of course, I was regretting that I didn't buy the new fishing stamp set uh, bundle that is in the mini in the annual catalog. So I ended up using retired products. Um, so this is what I came up with, and uh, I thought it I thought it turned out really cute. So what I used is the from last. Uh, mini catalog in the spring. I used the By the Bay paper and so I used this one right here and um, behind it is the fish with the green color okay and then um, I used the Seize the Day stamp set bundle to use the fish and the starfish and um, the crab all right and I also used the Charming Sentiments uh, right here for the Just For You. Um, I did the bundle, so um, that's what I had the die to cut that out. All right. So that's what I did with this. And on this paper, you see the paper is a little different color. Um, I added some Coastal Cabana on top of this to make it greener. And same thing with this, I inked it with um, Granny Apple Green to make it greener. And so that's what I turned out, um, that's how that turned out. This is um, Knight of Navy cardstock. Okay, so that's that, and it is retired, but if you have these products, um, it's a cute little card to make. All right, and so the current card Current products, I decided to combine Trucking Along and Grassy Grove. Okay, and I came up with this card, and I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, real quick or tell you what I did. I'm not making the card today, um, but I will tell you how I did it. So, of course, I used the Grassy Grove um, die that you're probably familiar with. This has been out for a while to cut the uh, trees out. And if you've seen my fall card and other Grassy Grove cards, um, you know how I do this blending. Um, I used Granny Apple Green and Garden Green. And I just sponged on just a little bit of color because down here in the south, we don't really get the typical fall. And this is for a man who lives here in the south. And so I wanted it to make it look a little fallish, but not uh, overboard. So I just sponged on just a little bit of uh, Daffodil Delight, Cherry Cobbler, and I believe uh, Calypso Coral. And just added that in and kept blind blending in the Granny Apple Green and the... Um, garden green and I used the dark pecan pie uh, blending um, marker to do the trees trunks and um, so the background um, I did some fresh freesia and melon mambo calypso coral and daffodil delight and I just kind of blended it across the card. I also used this um, road here 
to go all the way across the bottom here, if you can see that. Um, and I did that, and then I kind of filled it in with a white gel pen. I've been following a new um, demonstrator. Well, she's not a new demonstrator, but she, uh, new to me. I found her, um, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I, well, probably a couple months ago now, maybe. Um, and she was big on using these pens. Um, of course, now she's switched to an acrylic paint. But anyway, I bought the pens, and I thought that looked really good because it makes it look more like a little gravel road. And... Um, and then, of course, I used our new Distress Tile 3D embossing folder. And so I did that along the edge. And then I got it to pop by just dragging the Pecan Pie ink pad over the edges to make them pop a little bit. All right. And then I blended in um, for the Happy Birthday. And I cut that out uh, with the Stylus Shape Styes. And I use this one right here. And I did my little trick of making it a little bit smaller than it is. And the happy birthday comes from Darling Details. And then, of course, I did my little truck. And I do have videos on how I colored the truck. And uh, I put the little brads here for the um, uh, hubcaps. And then inside, I made a little tree. I stamped this tree here. Um, over the blended green and I did a little trick that I found from this lady um, her name is uh, Michelle oh what is her last name uh, Zendorf maybe I'll put the link below to her channel because she's got some beautiful cards she does a lot of scenery and um, I've learned some little tricks from her which I think are really nice um, Anyway, um, so what I did is um, I took a post-it note and <clears throat> I tore this and I put this here and I blended in the um, green and then I took one of the deckled dies, deckled circle dies, and I made like a little uh, stencil and I put that over the top and then just blended in the same colors to just make that. Um, on the inside. I thought it needed something. I didn't really want to put a sentiment because I put the happy birthday on the outside. So that's how that turned out. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I know this is a somewhat short video, um, but I just haven't been um, making much lately. I've been, I've had vacation time and my neck has also been hurting. I'm in PT for my ankle, which is getting better. I'm out of the boot now. I'm in a brace, so that's kind of nice. Um, so it's just been hectic, and uh, so I haven't really been crafting that much. So anyway, these are my two latest cards, and I just wanted to show you that. And like I said, I will put the links below to my website and uh, for my hostess code, and the products that I used will be listed below so that if you want to make one of these cards, you can. And that is it for today. Have a great week. God bless. Bye-bye.